Hi, today I'm going to show you that losses are actually good for investors. I'll give you a simple example. Let's assume you start with 100k and you save for 30 years. At the end of the 30 years, at a 5% return for the market, which is actually a very conservative assumption, you're going to be having more than 400,000 in savings after 30 years. Unfortunately, we know that the stock market doesn't work like this. It's not going to go straight up. And much rather, what is going to happen is it's going to go up like this. What does that mean for you as an investor? Actually, it means that every time you get a dividend on your stocks, you're actually going to buy stocks cheaper than you would have if it goes straight up. And at the end of the day, you're going to end up with even more savings. Easily 500k in this example. Now, how do pe pe people react to that? Well, most people think losses are really bad. I have to avoid losses. And they spend money avoiding losses. Now, hedging against the downturn can cost between 1% and 2 or even 3%, depending on how volatile uh, the markets are. Let's assume you pay on average 2% a year on you know, eliminating the risk of a downturn. What does that mean with your capital? Actually, it means you have a lot less, around 200,000k. Now, do you really need to insure for those losses? If you compare 500k to 200k, even an uninsured 500,000 gives you so much downside potential or downside safety that it's much better to go through these phases where you don't earn that much money because you know the stock market is going down, then to insure against uh, a stock price loss, uh, which is going to set you back almost half your capital. So embrace losses because they're going to give you even more returns. And don't forget, you're not even if you end up in a downturn at the end, you still have a lot more money than if you would insure against a loss.